just happy they kind of look like a bat. <laughs> okay, and you got a bug over here. Okay, and uh, so the bat sends out a sound wave. And it hits the bug. And that there is one Doppler effect. So, uh, let's see. Uh, either Amy or Kristen's uh, uh, microphone is giving some feedback here. So, why don't you try it one at a time? Kristen, why don't you hit your uh, mute button? There we go. That solved it. Okay. If you need to talk, just turn your mute off, okay? <laughs> uh, so, we've got the speed of the bat here. Uh, oh, they both start with B. I'll call it bat. And speed of the bug here. And so this one's traveling this way, this one's traveling this way. And so we'll use the Doppler effect for what the bug observes, which is not what the question tells you. The question gives you the bat is the source and the observer. And the observer. But it's a two-step process. Step one, the bat is the source and the bug is the observer. Okay, so we'll use uh, the observer, no, how does this, frequency, that's it. Frequency of the observer is equal to frequency of the source times uh, Y'all have to help me here. I think there's the speed of sound is first, is that right? Yeah. Speed of sound. And then is it plus or minus upstairs? I think it's plus upstairs and minus downstairs. Yeah, I always forget. Plus the observer. Okay, it's plus speed of the observer. Minus on the bottom. And the bottom is V sound minus V of the source. Is that right? Uh -huh. Okay. So for step one, bat is the source and bug is the observer. And you can use this to find the frequency observed by the bug. Now the problem is you won't know all these variables. You'll just have to plug in what you do know. Now, step two, and I'll use a different color for this, the sound wave bounces off the bug and comes back to the bat. And the frequency that bounces off the bug is equal to what was observed by the bug. So now, step two, Use the same equation. Frequency of the observer is equal to frequency of the source. <clears throat> so we're going to have speed of sound plus speed of the observer divided by speed of sound minus speed of the source. But in this case, the bug is the source, and the bat is the observer. So this becomes that. And how do you decide the thing where it's like, whether it's flying towards or away, it's a plus or Great minus? Question. Okay, so you, now fortunately the, the problem told you that the bug was flying in the same direction as the bat. So that means they're going this way. So the bat is going towards the bug. So all of its values are positive, but the bug is going away from the bat. So all of its speeds are negative. You see how this bug's trying to go away from the bat? So for this problem here, the bug is the observer. So this is gonna be a negative value right here, but the bat, is the source and it's positive, so it's gonna be minus a positive. This one's gonna be plus a negative, minus a positive. Okay, now for the second part here, now notice they switched because the bug is the, is the source and the bat is the observer now. 
So now this one, the observer, which is the bat, that's going to be positive because it's the bat is going towards the bug, but the source is trying to go away from the bat, so it's a negative. So this is going to be plus a positive, and this is going to be minus a negative. And are you saying you use the answer to step one and put it in step two? Yes, except that there's going to be a lot of things up here that you don't know. So you might want to do to make your life easier is just take the whole equation and put it in there. Then you have one big equation, and a lot of things are going to cancel out real quick when you do that. Um, I'm sorry, which is the, what should be used for the frequency of the observer and the frequency of the source again? Well, I, I didn't put any numbers in here. Let's let's let me read the well, question. Like, well, like say the the bat emits an, a thirty nine point nine chirp and it receives back an echo at forty point three. Would the echo be the source, or would the echo be the observer? Okay, uh, say your numbers again. Um, the bat emits a thirty nine point nine chirp. Thirty nine point nine. Are those and, hertz or megahertz? Uh, kilohertz. Kilohertz. Okay. So that's 39.9 with the decimal moved over three places. So it's going to be 3900. Zero, zero, okay? Yeah. And then, it, and then the bat source and bat observes. What was the second one? Um, 40.3 kilohertz. Okay, so do you see how I converted that? Yeah. Them? But which one's which? Well, that's what I'm getting to here. Okay, so this one here is that. Okay. Because okay. it's the source. But this one here is this. Okay. Kristen, you, you have a confused look on your face. I figured it out. I was I was looking at the same thing, but I wasn't really listening because I was trying to figure it out. And then I looked up and I saw that the other number is okay. the observer. Okay. Good. Amy, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. Sarah, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Are you working on this one? Uh, no. Okay. That's you right. had a uh, an old video. Oh, okay. That, that my mom is trying to do. Okay. Good. Can you help me with the math for that part? Because like the algebra part of that? Yeah, it gets kind of messy, doesn't it? Yeah, and like, I don't really know how to do this. <laughs> okay. I have my equation set up though. Okay, I'm gonna erase all the picture over here. Okay. And uh, we'll use that as a space to do the math, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out this purple equation here, okay? But instead of writing F source, I'm going to write all this, okay? So I'm going to write the frequency observed by the bat is equal to, now instead of writing this, I'm going to write this whole big thing, F source bat and bat. Uh, times, and maybe I should write this in purple or in blue because it's the that's the other color. Sound plus a negative. sound minus the bat. And now I'm going to write this purple part here. that divided by the 
sound plus the bug. Okay, does yours look kind of like this, Kristen? Yes. And what does the problem tell you? Tell you that you're looking for? Well, what, is, what does it give you and what do you need? What do I, I need the velocity of the bug. Okay, so, so the thing you're looking for is this thing here. It shows up twice, right? Yes. But it gives you everything else. Yeah. Okay. Um, the math is going to get messy. Are you ready? No. <laughs> it's, a, it's a foil upstairs and a foil downstairs. Yep. I, I kind of like got to this point setting it up at some point, but then I, I literally, I tried to do the math and I did it wrong and that's where I left it. Okay. So, do you know what I mean when I say foil? Yeah. So it's gonna first outside, inside, last upstairs, and then foil downstairs. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> it's gonna be F observed equals F source times now upstairs. Uh, we're going to have V sound squared, that's going to be your first, and then your second here is going to be uh, plus V bat, uh, and you know what, I'm going to use V S equals V sound, V G equals V bug, and V T equals the bat. Is that okay? Or do you mean to spell it out? Okay. okay. Just because bug and bat start with the same letter, so I, I guess I could have used I U and insect. A. What'd you say? I for insect. Oh, <laughs> I for insect. Well, that would work too. Okay. So, um, so V S squared, and now we're gonna have V S times V bat, so now we're going to have this, we're going to have minus V S times V bug. And then we're going to have this last piece here, minus V bug, V bat, divided by, downstairs we're going to have a V S squared again, now we're going to have <clears throat> plus V S V G and here we're going to have minus V S V bat and then here we're going to have minus V uh, bat bug bat. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. 